The laser RST has been developed by the Swedish Road and Traffic Research Institute, better known as VTI, an interdisciplinary research institute that carries out research and development in the areas of modern road construction, road maintenance, traffic conditions and road safety. The first road surface measurement vehicle, the Saab RST, was equipped with a mechanical sensing system to measure the road surface. It wasn't until the beginning of the 1980s, however, that the first non-contact measurement vehicle was developed. This was built on a standard chassis and equipped with laser cameras. The immediate advantages with this design are that more variables can be measured. Wider measurement widths are possible. A higher level of accuracy is achieved. And, perhaps most importantly, the system requires much less calibration and maintenance. The laser RST can travel at a measurement speed of 90 kilometers per hour. It is speed independent which means that it follows fluctuations in the traffic flow without this having any effect on the measurement results. Manual measuring systems are still used in many countries, but they are far more time consuming, besides being far more risky with regard to personnel injury as well as traffic disturbance effects. This particularly applies when measuring under viaducts on bridges, at traffic roundabouts or in tunnels. Laser RST measurements can be carried out rapidly and efficiently 24 hours a day. Road shoulders can also be measured whenever necessary. The ability to measure airport runways with the laser RST at any time of the day or night offers important savings in time and money. When measuring narrower stretches of road, the measurement width is simple to adapt in size. The purpose is naturally to obtain an accurate evaluation and picture of the general condition of a road network. Typical road parameters measured with the laser RST are rut depth, roughness, macro texture, cracking, cross fall and curve radius, and distance traveled. All of these values are stored on a micro disk in the vehicle's computer which can also provide printouts or be used in conjunction with primary data from the road data bank, such as accident and traffic statistics, as well as measurement results from previous years. The results from the road data bank can be used in various forms, for example in printouts or floppy disks, magnetic tapes or different types of graphical presentations. In this graphical presentation, the yellow lines represent a 20 mm standard rut depth, while the light blue color represents the rut depth of the actual road. One can see in the left-hand corner that the measured road's rut depth exceeds, or nearly exceeds, the standard. The results from the road data bank, including the new measurements, allow for decision making in important areas such as regional planning, allocation of resources, the design of road standards, accident analysis, feedback to highway engineers, input to other types of highway related surveys, and control guidelines for contractors. Internationally, the obvious advantages of the laser RST measurement system have already attracted widespread interest and acceptance. Measurements are currently being carried out in the United States and Spain 
as well as in Canada and Australia. The system itself is not based on any particular type or make of vehicle chassis, as long as it's sturdy and stable enough. On the laser camera support bar are mounted 11 laser cameras. An accelerometer for compensation calculations of vehicle movement, plus an inclinometer and a rate gyro, which are used to calculate crossfall. Attached to the front wheels of the vehicle is a distance recorder. This registers the length of the stretch of road travelled. The Hewlett Packard Integral Computer installed in the vehicle is a powerful computer with a non-radiative VDU and a built-in printer. A rack houses the laser electronics and the SPC cards. The SPC cards are special computer cards designed and series produced for the laser RST system. The equipment for the supply of electrical power is housed in the rear of the vehicle. The 2.6 meter wide laser camera support bar houses 11 laser cameras. Two of these are positioned at an angle of 45 degrees in order to give a measurement width of 3.2 meters. The principle of laser measurement is as follows. A laser beam is projected against the road surface and reflected back to a receiver, which registers the reflection of the beam on a light sensitive plane. This distance position proportional signal is then processed. Crack measurement is currently carried out using laser cameras 2, 4, 6 and 8. Macro texture values are simultaneously recorded by cameras 2 and 8. Additional cameras can be used for both crack and macro texture measurement if this is found necessary. The measurements are totally unaffected by the rocking movements of the vehicle while driving. That is, the system is vehicle as well as speed independent. From the laser cameras, an accelerometer and distance recorder transmit signals to the SPC unit, where each variable has its own computer card. Measurement values are then processed and the main computer registers these values for storage on its microdisc. At the end of a measurement cycle, printouts can be obtained from the computer. Further processing of the data can be carried out directly in the vehicle or by sending the microdisc to a road data bank. Ruts on the road surface can seriously affect traffic safety. For example, by causing vehicles to easily veer off course as a result of water planing. Rut depth measurement is carried out continually with 32,000 measurements per second being registered by each laser camera. For each decimeter, a mean value for each camera is calculated, which is then used to calculate a maximum rut depth value for each decimeter. These values are then used to calculate one maximum rut depth value, which is presented every 20 meters. The roughness of a road surface seriously affects factors such as comfort, traffic safety, fuel economy, degradation of vehicles, and even direct damage to goods in transit. In addition, it has a negative effect on the surrounding environment through increasing noise and vibration levels. The roughness of a road surface is measured with an accelerometer and one camera. Signals are stored in an SPC file, which is controlled by pulses from the distance recorder. Filtration enables measurement to be carried out independently of the speed of the vehicle. On the basis of the recorded surface profile, specific roughness values 
such as the comfort value and the root mean square or RMS value can be calculated. RMS values for specified wavelengths, for example, one half to 10 meters can be obtained. The quarter car is an international formula for calculating a roughness value. That is, one quarter of a vehicle is fed into the computer in the form of a model with all its characteristics programmed into the computer. With the aid of a computer program, the model is then run over the registered road profile. And an IRI, or International Roughness Index, is then obtained. The quarter, or Q car, is one American method of roughness measurement, while MO is another American adapted measurement method. The method of measurement in itself is flexible and is easily adapted to the special requirements of each user or road authority. Macro texture is a measure of the roughness of the road surface for wavelengths under 0.5 meters. The measurement is divided into three wavelength areas, 1 to 10 millimeters, 10 to 80 millimeters, and 80 to 500 millimeters. The smallest wavelength area covers the stone content in the road surface while the largest area covers potholes in the road surface. Cracks in a road surface indicate many types of road deterioration and are thus a highly useful component in any pavement management system. Also, if cracks are detected early on and effectively repaired and sealed without delay, water can be prevented from seeping down through the road surface. Poorly maintained road surfaces can cause serious traffic problems. Let's watch a demonstration of a road condition measurement by a laser RST vehicle and its crew. A disk is delivered from the road data bank. It has already been programmed with all the necessary intersection points and the distances between these. A reference map is also delivered with the disk. The operator in charge of the measurements and the driver carry out their assignments. They activate the measurement equipment inside the vehicle. The program is run and the intersection reference points are then fed into the main computer. Calibration of the laser cameras may also be carried out. This is usually unnecessary, however, as the laser cameras are highly stable. A dynamic calibration check of individual cameras is also simple to carry out using this equipment. A revolving disc with two grooves, which in this case simulate two cracks, is run at a constant speed of a maximum of 90 km per hour. This enables an extremely accurate dynamic test of the cameras. All the measurement values obtained are processed while the vehicle is moving and are available to the operator on the computer's visual display unit. All the operator needs to do when passing an intersection is to register this on the computer by pressing one of the keys. The laser RST system incorporates a high degree of flexibility in hardware equipment and program software. It is safe to use in normal traffic conditions easy to operate and maintain, and highly reliable. It enables objective, uniform data collection of many variables, year after year, as well as direct access to all data obtained. A detailed service manual that describes the well-thought-out design and construction of the system makes the RST easy to service and maintain on a daily basis. All 
ingoing components are easy to replace. Commonly required replacement parts are carried in the vehicle and thus can be replaced immediately. Methods have also been developed for accurate measurement of crossfall and curve radius variables. In this case, measurement is carried out using an inclinometer and a rate gyro. Crossfall is calculated with the aid of the 11 laser cameras, which measure the position of the vehicle in relation to the road surface. Additionally, the position of the vehicle in relation to the Earth's axis is measured by means of the inclinometer, the rate gyro, and the vehicle speed. To be able to measure more than the road surface alone, work is being carried out with a high-speed deflection meter. By using two supporting bars, each equipped with 11 laser cameras that measure a road profile in front of and behind a wheel axle under load, two profiles can be compared, thus indicating weaknesses in the road body. A system of three-dimensional road surface measurements has also been developed. Rotary laser transmitters positioned on a road surface supply horizontal and vertical reference points. The results can be illustrated graphically in three-dimensional form. Three-dimensional measurements are highly accurate, but extremely time-consuming, and thus may be most appropriate for special test roads and airports. Another system is comprised of two extra laser cameras positioned above the laser camera support bar. This extends the measurement width to more than four meters a system which can be useful for special measurement requirements. The laser RST represents the most advanced technique and equipment for effective, rational road management and maintenance available today. The system is flexible and highly adaptable for those wishing to solve the many economic problems connected with today's and tomorrow's pavement management systems. The RST is your answer for today and for many years to come.